This is a pointless thing to do on the wireless sketch, brought to you by those blithering idiots at the old Duffer Network. Hello, and welcome back to the Airfix Model Assembly Show. That sound bite there will have given you a big clue as to our project this week. Yes, it's an Avro Lancaster VIII bomber. It's a 172nd scale model. I chose this model as it's a particularly popular one and has plenty of detail, especially in the gun turrets, especially at the front. The Lancaster could take heavier bomb loads than its contemporaries at uh, a total bomb load of 14,000 pounds. It was also easier to handle, although not necessarily in its plastic model form of course. There were fewer accidents with this than with any other type, although I once dropped one and it was in a pretty poor state when I picked it up, I can tell you. The forces casualty rate was also considerably below other types. Although I did get a finger stuck to one once. Right, the usual routine exists. Check all your parts are there. Watch especially for the see-through bits. They can so easily get lost. Okay, I've got all my bits here. I mean, of course, the kit parts, not my. Glue and paints are also essential. I'm using a good quality glue and authentic colours. That was the English spelling of colour, by the way. None of this drop your use. Right, the instructions point you in the direction of assembly of the wings and the undercarriage first. I'd like to point you in the direction of the gun turrets as a starting place, as I find this far more motivational. Feels like you're getting somewhere. It also gives the glue longer to set. I have a rather amusing story about that. I once followed the instructions to the letter and I got so excited about my turrets. I didn't give them time to set properly. Well, I put them into the fuselage and continued with assembly. And unfortunately, the glue was still wet. Well, <laughs> you could probably tell what happened next. My turrets were frozen. That was embarrassing, I can tell you. If you've ever had your turrets frozen, you'll know what I mean. Well, my turrets are all made up now onto the wings and uh, my undercarriage. Uh, you can have your undercarriage up or down. The choice is yours. I prefer mine down. Although if you like going on bombing missions they can get in your way. When you're inserting your undercarriage be careful as this piece here is very fragile and can break easily. Oh, snoofers, I've done it again. Luckily, I bought two kits so I can nick one out of the second kit and take it back to the shop and say it wasn't there. Now, when you're gluing your engine cowling on, you need to be firm, but also careful that you don't... Oh, snoofers, I've broken my prop blade. Uh, this rear gun just past the wings can be a bit of a noodle's poodle. It's so small and awkward to keep in place. John Tompkins taught me a trick that always works with these little fellows. Put them in plaster seam. That keeps them in place until the glue sets. Sometimes sticks the plaster seam there as well. OK, let's put all the turrets in place and assemble the fuselage. When you put the glue in, be very careful to stop and start well before and after the turrets. Now, check your fuselage for missing... Oh, snoofers! I miss the rotating dome turrets underneath. Get a small screwdriver if this ever happens to you, and carefully prise the... fuselage... Uh, part, uh, before the... 
blue has a chance to set. Double snoofers. I've broken the rear of the fuselage. Now what Robert Glazier does is make it look like wall damage. As if the plane has been hit with a stream of bullets. Oh snoofers, I've just dropped a turret. Now, what you have to do is make sure you don't accidentally oh, tread on it. Like what I've done with this one. Looks like the glazier trick for this model then. Until next week, this is Peter Dogood from the Little Big Infield Airfix Modelling Club saying good. Oh, snoofers. I found the other turret that trodden on that too. This has been an old Duffer Network production for Kids Cars Network.